It's main event time here in New York City. These two guys were going at it, so referee Mike Keener just called for the bell. Samoa Joe in his first stop on his farewell tour as an ROH regular to take on pro wrestling Noah's Takeshi Morishima in Morishima's Ring of Honor debut. Well, his Ring of Honor in-ring debut, we saw him make his ROH debut last year right here in Manhattan as that confrontation between him and Samoa Joe started way back then. Great agility shown by Morishima right there, the cartwheel into the avalanche in the corner, and now just pounding down on Samoa Joe. Yeah, as you mentioned, back at Glory by Honor 5, night two. The shoving match between Morishima and Samoa Joe. Tempers began to flare, and now we see that matchup here in the very same location between these two men. At that time, Morishima just here as a guest visiting Ring of Honor was not supposed to be involving himself physically, but you saw what happened there, and then earlier on tonight, just destroying Pelly Primo, and now a big scoop and a slam on Samoa Joe. Using the ropes for some extra leverage, oh, as he puts all of his body weight down on the chest of Samoa Joe. 290 plus pounds coming down on the chest cavity of one of the legends of ROH. You know, Samoa Joe is a very large competitor himself, but you see that Morishima, even larger than Samoa Joe, and just as intimidating. Yeah, this is definitely one of the few times you're gonna see Samoa Joe quite possibly able to be out-muscled in a matchup. Just trying to cut off the oxygen of Samoa Joe using that second rope across the throat. The crowd getting behind Joe as he peppers Morishima with right hands. But Morishima fires back and staggers Joe. Morishima will challenge for the ROH world title tomorrow night in Philadelphia. Is he trying to wear down Samoa Joe right here? Of course, Morishima secured that contract, that title shot through Pro Wrestling Noah. As the fans here in Manhattan trying to give Samoa Joe the energy, the encouragement to get back to his feet and work his way out of it. Morishima clubbing away at the back of Joe, who once again staggers to the corner, sent to the buckle. And Morishima charges in with a lariat, nowhere for Joe to go, and he collapses to the canvas. Cover! But Joe gets his foot on the ropes. Nowhere for him to go but down. Driven into the turnbuckle, and then Morishima just driving right into his chest. Goes behind Joe, all of his weight across the back with that rear chin lock. Once again, trying to cut the oxygen of Joe here. Really cranking down on that chin lock. This is Samoa Joe's final appearance for ROH here in New York City as a regular on the roster. And of course his farewell tour will also make its way to Philadelphia tomorrow night. Dayton, Ohio, Chicago, and Liverpool over in the UK. Joe again able to make it to the ropes and force the break. But Morishima staying right on top of Joe, not giving him a chance to recoup his but Joe pops back up, just as I was saying it, that Joe wasn't gonna have a chance to recuperate. He pops right back up and fires away. That put a stop to Samoa Joe firing away on offense. Morishima quickly sends Joe right back down to the canvas, and now the big man's going up top. Missile drop kick, a man of that size showing unbelievable agility. A 290 pounder coming off the top rope is not something you see every day. And he made it look easy. And Samoa Joe, almost lifeless. He was thinking about pulling him back up but went for the cover right there but Samoa Joe able to kick out. You can easily see why people in Japan have been raving about Morishima as the future of the heavyweight division in that country for a couple of years now. He is extremely impressive here in his ROH debut. And showing everyone in Ring of Honor exactly what he is all about against an icon of this company, an ROH legend. Boot to the face by Morishima. Joe though gets the knee up in time and connects. Big boot to the face by Joe. Back set time to follow up. Cover! No, able to get his shoulder up is Morishima. 
These two heavy hitters are laying it all on the line here in our main event. Joe picks him back up and now peppers him with a right hand and a chop to the chest. Backs the big man to the corner. Back elbow from Joe. And an insecurity right on the ear. Standing still. The agility from Samoa Joe coming out. Just raking the boot across the face of Morishima in the corner. Face washes from Samoa Joe off the ropes. And connects full force. Joe, after that flurry, you see him right there grabbing at his back, still feeling the effects of Morishima's offense. Big boot right to the face, and the back of Morishima's head hit the turnbuckle. Just measuring Morishima now for these strikes. Samoa Joe has him staggered in the corner. Gasping for air himself now. Kicking away at the chest of Mar Morishima. Snap mares him out of the corner, does Joe. Now just pulling at the face. Trying to punish Morishima here. And then drives the elbow right to the bridge of the nose. And it looks like the nose of Morishima is now bleeding. He's busted the nose of Morishima and he's gonna focus on that. Oh, Samoa Joe may have in fact just broken the nose of Morishima. Just a big bullseye now in the middle of the face of Morishima and Joe is going right back to work on the 290 pounder for Japan. Biting away at the face as he backs him into the corner. Morishima cannot afford injury here in this matchup against Samoa Joe going into his world title shot tomorrow night in Philly. Joe firing away with elbows. Judo throw takes Morishima off his feet. Oh, another hard kick. And again from Samoa Joe. Out to the floor goes Morishima. Oh! Elbow suicida. More damage done to the bloody face of Morishima. Brings these fans in Manhattan to their feet. You mentioned not wanting to go into tomorrow night's world title match injured. Samojo asking these fans what they want to see. And of course it's Ole time here in New York City. Morishima has a seat. Boots him right in the side of the face. Morishima down on the floor at the feet of Samoa Joe. The fans chanting for one more as Joe grabs a handful of hair and brings him to the other side of the Manhattan Center. Into the barricade goes Morishima. Looking for a second old leg kick as Morishima once again has a seat. Joe charges. And once again, Morishima feeling the effects. Blood still pouring from the nose of Morishima. If that nose is in fact broken, definitely gonna have some trouble breathing as this match goes on. Both men roll inside the ring. Morishima on his back. Joe now goes for the cover. Hooking the leg, but Morishima kicks out. It's gonna take a whole lot to put that man away. Joe feeling the effects maybe in his shoulder a little bit. Very physical contest between these two athletes. Joe just struggling to pick up the limp body of Morishima. Finally gets him back to his feet, right hands, and now lefts from Joe, just peppers the big man. Off the ropes goes Joe. Ducks the lariat, but Joe fires away with elbows. Morishima again ducks the lariat. Joe ducks one of his own. And a side slam takes Joe down. Just driven full force in the center of the ring. 
You'll notice every time Samoa Joe is in the grasp of Morishima where he might be able to hook in that backdrop driver, Joe's been able to elbow his way out of that position to free himself from falling to that maneuver. Great momentum just came flying, bowling over Samoa Joe down on the mat. Joe once again grabbing at his shoulder. You see him grabbing that shoulder as he's talking to referee Todd Sinclair. Samoa Joe may be in serious trouble here as Morishima one more time with a head of steam. A second impact cover. But Joe with his shoulder up off the canvas. Morishima back in control of this contest. Has Samoa Joe back on his feet and in the corner. Irish whip, Joe into the buckle. Big boot from Morishima right to the face. ROH has never seen anyone as big and powerful as Takeshi Morishima. Joe able to avoid him that time. Takes him out of the corner, yes, T. Joe! He gets his shoulder up though. Morishima not just big and powerful, but his ability to take punishment and then continue to come back on the offense is unbelievable for a guy his size. Well, both men have absorbed several high impact maneuvers from their opponent and just as quickly come back to deliver more punishment themselves. Samoa Joe now with Morishima, but raining down on the back of the head of Samoa Joe. Big kick to the back of the head. Another enziguri from Joe. Elevates the big man. Wow. Only two. Samoa Joe, great show of strength right there with Morishima up on his shoulders and driving him down, but only for a count of two. Morishima again, somehow able to dig down and find his way out. But Samoa Joe starting to nod his head. Looks like he thinks this might be all he needs to put the big Morishima away here. Starting to take command is Joe back to his feet. You know, for so long we've been accustomed to calling Samoa Joe the big man in every matchup. He usually is the largest man in his matches, but here he's taking on someone even larger than himself who hits just as hard. Even more agile than Samoa Joe as well, as Joe kicking away at the chest of Morishima, trying to soften him up to get this maneuver, looking for the power bomb. But Morishima, all of his body weight down on the sternum of Samoa Joe. Shima again able to get back to his feet. And you've got to be kidding me again. The big man looking to go to the top. Even bigger than Samoa Joe, even more agile, and now climbing to the top rope for a second time in this match. He's already hit that missile drop kick once, but Joe's up and firing away. Open hand slaps to the face. And now Joe's gonna follow him up. Both men perched high above the ring here in Manhattan. Can Joe get him over with this superplex? Morishima firing away. Connects with the kick, but Morishima still on the top. Muscle Buster! Cover! He kicked out! Morishima kicked out of the Muscle Buster, and Samoa Joe is in shock! Unbelievable muscle buster on Morishima, and he kicks out Samoa Joe. What's going through his head right now? Is there any way he can defeat Morishima? What does he have to do to stop this guy? The crowd solidly behind Joe. Waiting for Morishima to get back to his feet. Firing away with jabs. Trying to pepper that broken nose of Morishima, who just won't back down. Joe off the ropes, big boot, but just staggers Morishima. Both men with momentum and neither one goes down. Survive kick, he just brushed it right off and connects with Ilarian. Both men feeling the effects down on the canvas. Referee checking on their condition. A true heavyweight battle here in Ring of Honor. Who's gonna be able to make it to their feet first? 
Both men struggling back up. Morishima trying to slap some sense into himself. Morishima's up first, but he is staggering. Joe to a knee and now back to his feet as Morishima sends him off the ropes. Fizz press! But Joe kicks out. And you notice he was trying to keep those shoulders against the canvas, trying to power him down, but still Joe was able to escape. But all the body weight of Morishima across Samoa Joe, driven down onto him, going for the backdrop driver. Joe reaches the ropes. He's got him! Plants him into the canvas. Like a Uranagi slam from that position. And now Morishima looking to follow up. Pack drop driver. Joe able to kick out. You hear that collective O oh when Joe hit the canvas almost simultaneous with all the air coming out of his body and somehow he's able to kick out. Well, Morishima able to absorb the muscle buster and kick out. Now Samoa Joe able to absorb the backdrop driver and kick out. Morishima off the ropes. Northern Lariat to the back of the head. Another head of steam. This time Joe ducks the Lariat. Half Nelson suplex right on the back of his head. Picking him back up. Samoa Joe now looking to choke him out. But trying to escape, but Joe clamps it right back on. Morishima went for a chin breaker, but Joe just kind of shrugged it off and locked the choke right back in. He has beaten every single person he's faced with that choke here in ROH, but Morishima was able to power his way out. But Joe goes right back to it. Going for another backdrop driver, but Joe driving the face of Morishima into the canvas, back to the choke. This is put down AJ style, so many men in ring of honor, wraps the legs around the body. The crowd screaming for Morishima to tap. Can he survive? Can he find a way out of the rear naked choke? Joe's got it locked on. There's no way Morishima can even breathe from this position. The referee checking on his condition. His arm falls once, checking once again. Is he out? Two, one more, and Joe's the winner. A huge win for Samoa Joe, despite a great debut for Takeshi Morishima.